But I have some awesome ladies here who are in the studio with me. So I know our screen is y'all gonna have to um, dip to see the screen, but y'all please do that with me a little bit. But I'm gonna scooch back so they can at least put the heads in <laughs> and say hello to you. Cause we're live, live while we Google hanging out, and then we're actually Facebook live. Yes. So we yes. are here on lots of different types of social media. But uh, what we're here on the Gospel Hour, and I always want to talk about a little scripture because they always say it's nothing new under the sun. We think me mental health is Absolutely. something that's yeah. new, no. but it's actually something that we just kind of forget about people. Mm -hmm. We gotta lock them up. And it talks about it in the scripture of Mark 5, 1, 20, when you had a demon-possessed man. And the problem was mm. they tried to keep him locked up. They tried mm. to keep him bound. Even mm. the chains couldn't hold him. Wow. And the sad part, that is what we do to people now with mm. mental health defects. We either lock them up in institutions or institutions, whether it's mental institutions or whether it's jail. But we don't actually call out the demon in them like Jesus did. Right. Jesus identified what he was working with, called the demon out. And actually set him free. And the thing right. is, if we get people the help they need and recognize, recognize what are actually some of the problems. And this is what these wonderful ladies are here to do. Some of the triggers, some of the problems, some mm -hmm. of the things that we need to do so that we don't just isolate and try to lock people up mm -hmm. because of their mental health situations. Right. I can remember growing up here in Atlanta. It was kind of a joke. Your parents would tell you, you better get act right. Better get a little act right about yourself right. before they ship you off the Brady to the fifth floor. Mm. And if, for people oh, who yeah. live here, well, it's the eighth floor, I think. Eighth floor. It's the eighth floor. Mm. So you get shipped off to the eighth floor. And for people who in Atlanta know what that means, you go into the crazy ward. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you go into the crazy ward, you always assume that was just the worst place to be. But really, are we treating mental health people? Or are we just locking them up? Mm. Whether it's in hospitals, institutions, prisons. Wow. So... Right. Mm -hmm. Are we caring for them? Are we really resolving the issue? Are we making them actually permanent wards of the states? Yeah. That's that's what we're doing. So we're going to jump into some okay. questions. And I want you all to actually send me some questions here that we're doing here live. I want you all to call in this evening at 770-415-2149 because we want to talk about the issues that you all are dealing with. And you're not going to tell me that it's not going on. We, 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 we got 100 million cases, oh, yeah. and I can think of three that just happened within two days that have been put on the news. Oh, wow. So mm -hmm. it is young people. Mm -hmm. Not we, we always think about mental cases, mm -hmm. people old. Mm -hmm. And the first thing we think about mentally is we think about Alzheimer's. We mm -hmm. think about dementia. Right. But that's when people get older. And actually, now what's happening the to younger, younger people. people. Right, right, yeah, so, I mean, right. it's... You know, back when we were, well, I should say when I was in my 20s. <laughs> back when I was in my 20s, you know, I always used to think, oh, well, that only happened to old people. Right. And our definition of old people might have been 60 then. Right, right, mm -hmm. and 40. Yeah, but, but, but now that we get closer and closer to that, that number, we think of old people as... You know, 80, 80 90. 90. But mm -hmm. the thing is, people are actually getting those symptoms in their 40s. Mm -hmm. So we have to realize what things do we need to be doing wow. in our lives right. to actually Come find back. out. Mm -hmm. um, I like to start this off is telling, giving you all a thing. Now, I got a month thing for you all, and it is what you don't know will hurt you. Absolutely. See, we've, we always live this life, okay, if we don't do this and we don't do this, we turn a blind eye, it won't bother That's us. Right, yes. But wow. mental health is what we've done. We just say, if we don't know about it, it won't hurt us. That's but true. we need to know the history in our family Yes. because it is genetic. And then we need to know the things that trigger it, what we should be doing. So here this evening... I am excited to have you all because I'm going to talk about some of the things, how you all got started, what's your goals, and really from your clients that you have, how do you help them get through some of those issues so they can get back and be productive in society. Mm -hmm. So y'all don't leave me because we got a few little music, of course, because we're the radio. So I need you all <laughs> to listen to some music tonight. But the song that we played coming in was Helen Baylor, and it was Can You Reach My Friend? Mm -hmm. And when I heard that song, I know it's a little bit old, and I know it's something that everybody heard before, and I know I was probably aging myself on that song. <laughs> but the thing is, 
about it is if we pray and really understand the things that people go through, mm -hmm. we judge people, we don't mm -hmm. understand what they go through, mm -hmm. and we really need to be more understanding and have God reach them right. and have God do something with them because they are possessed by some type of demon that they need help within mm -hmm. their issue. So we're getting ready to um, jump into two songs and... But y'all don't know, I love country. So <laughs> I live in the city, but I'm really, really a country girl. So every once in a while on this hour, I might play a little country music. We might even get down with a little hard rock music. Okay. But it's, it's, a, it's a little bit different <laughs> on this station at this time of night. So don't, don't play it on necessarily hearing the regular gospel song. But we're coming with um, Holly Star, and it's about don't have love. And that's the thing we need to have for people actually really to get past this mental state, have that love, that patience. It's an, it's an action word. We got to have that. And then it's about um, Meredith Andrews, you're not alone. And that's what we do for mental people. We, we make them think they're crazy. Isolated. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're crazy. We're going to put you in a bad room. Right. And, and don't that make you crazier? Yes. Yeah. And, and the thing is, mental health is not always to that extreme. It could be depression. Exactly. Yes. And sometimes depression, when we put them alone, it creates suicidal tendencies. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, you don't just kill yourself now mm. you kill everybody else who's around and close to wow. you so those are the things we need to talk about through those songs i want y'all to listen to the words and let the words actually marinate with you all and then i don't want you all to leave me whether you're here on the google hangout or whether you're live on the radio you hear facebook i want you to stay with me and i want you to come back and really think about some of those people that you know and things that are going on and you don't even have to personally know them something that you might be struggling with that you really want an answer to tonight. So call us 770-415-2149 and we are ready to dig in deep into the mental issue. Songs are coming up right now. 